Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, if it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much. Welcome back. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I'm trying to get some videos done today. How is everybody's Valentine's Day going? Um, it is, well, early afternoon now. I just did finish my another video, my Scentsy empties. So I wanted to, today's the 14th. I want to go from February 1st to the 14th because I left off the last day of January. Um, as I asked in my life, I know some people don't watch um, Sensi and they like vendors who watch the Super Bowl. What a game. We had such a great Super Bowl Sunday. Both teams to me were winners, but the Chiefs took it home and um, it was just a nail biter and a great game. Uh, my my daughter's fiance and I did bet on the game. We did bet on the Chiefs, so we won a little bit of money, and I was thrilled. But the 49ers played a great game. They really did. It was a really good game. Um, okay, so empties. Fender empties. Start with non-wax. My last video was so long, I don't want to do it that I don't want to do another long video. Um a two pack of wallflowers in fresh balsam. Got done with that. I have my recycling bucket here. And also wallflowers, coconut lime breeze. It's, these are all repeats for me. Firecracker pop. Beautiful day. Um, I had in my last empties too because I put it in my one bathroom and I love it in the bathroom. So another bathroom, the wallflower went out and I grabbed another beautiful day. Um, beautiful, this one I think is new because I've never had this one. I don't know. It's sun-kissed apple, wild daisies, and pink peonies. It's a really good one in the bathroom. I like it a lot. I do not have any candle empties. I have like five candles working on them. I just grab a candle and according to what I'm warming that day, so... I don't have any candle empties, but I'll probably have a bunch in two weeks from now when I do my empties at the end of the month. I'm going to do my melting challenge first, melting challenge with Patricia Gates. I've been um, participating in that. March 1st will be a year that I'm doing Patricia's melting challenge, and I love it. It really helps me getting through old wax, finishing half things deciding what I want to warm that day. So I love doing this melting challenge. It's so good for me. If you're not, if you're not participating and you want to participate, I have the calendar on my community page. Patricia Gates also has it on her community page. And um, some days I might just do what the prompt is in the bedrooms, but other areas in my house, I warm whatever else I want. Like, older wax, trying to catch up, like using older wax or what I'm in the, really in the mood for. So you don't have to do your whole house in what the prompt is. So I break it up sometimes. Some days it is a prompt that I do throughout the house. So depends. So I'm going to start with that. February 1st, let me grab my, so if you're not going out, you were just out. Got my prompt sheet here was melt flowers or chocolate. So I did flowers, sorry, I guess something my eye. I did lilac and violet in the bedrooms, scentsies, and then chocolate destination wax I did in the kitchen and dining room. And I finished up two chocolate covered strawberries. So this went in the kitchen and dining room. This was poured October 17th of 22. So I was happy that I got to finish these off and really good, liked it. I would definitely get more chocolate-covered strawberries. Um, then on, okay, on the second was Groundhog's Day, melt something you could warm repeatedly. I used Scentsy for that. On the third, it was melt a cake scent. So I did scoopable wax, frosted three cakes. It was a loaf. And it was yellow cake, birthday cake, cupcakes at Tiffany's, and cream cheese frosting. Absolutely love. I have so many of her three cake blends. So I did a whole loaf in all the main area that day. Great day. Love this blend. 
on the fourth. Well, there's a lot here, binder clip. Um, on the fourth, it's in the name. Pick a Valentine's theme wax that something in the name. I don't know. I don't even remember. This was 10 days ago. I don't remember yesterday. So let's see what I did here. That's why I have to keep notes for myself. On um, In the game room, all day I wrote with hearts, vintage chic scents, Mike and Eleven forever. And it was a chunk piece. It is first comes first comes love with this blend of gooey oatmeal, spiced wedding cake, filled with sweet vanilla cream. Mike and Eleven forever, vintage chic. Um, I guess she's back in business. I started seeing posts again that she's pouring wax. Then... I have a bunch from that day. Some I think were like half empties I wanted to use up. Um, another vintage chic. I'm nuts about you. Pumpkin peanut brittle zucchini bread. And these were two gingerbread shaped men. And I did these in the kitchen. So nuts about you. Um, what did I write in my notes? I blended these with the VCS, with the Ks and the L3. VCS all day and night. It was a great day. I wrote it was a great day. Oh, here's another. I did two nuts about you. So four gingerbread men. Um, why did I put these in here? I don't know. Oh, I see what I did. Okay. Those were my, it's in the name, but also on the fourth. So I did those gi four gingerbread men, kitchen, dining room, rest of the house to like the open concept to blend it all in nice. I finished up L3's zucchini bread. It was a bunch of pieces, like different shapes in here. I have a bunch of these and I had like half a bag of this left. And then I did Kay's, one of my absolute favorites, her French bread. It's buttery warm yeast bread. So I finished that up and I mixed it with some butter brickle of K's. So I did the French bread and the butter brickle. Excellent day. All in one day, I did that all through the house. Loved it. Great day. Okay. Then the sixth. Something linked to a movie or a TV show. I did a brittle of movie night from Sassy Girl Aroma, hot buttered popcorn. Very, I mean, you have to like butter. Very, I, I wouldn't purchase this one again. I love butter, but this was like butter. It was just melting, melted butter. I love melted butter, but I want some pretzel or vanilla in something. So this was really buttery, not a repurchase. I finished up, this was half in here of candy corn buttered popcorn Danish butter cookies. This has been sitting in my half empty container for like over a year. Finished this up. One cube left I had of bathing garden, salted caramel popcorn. So I threw that in my hot plate in my kitchen. Really, really good. Okay, that was the fourth. The fifth, or the sixth, sorry. Now I'm on the seventh. On the seventh, it was melt roses or greenery. So in the kitchen and dining room, oh my God, I love this so much. I hope this is still out. I got to look. Melt, uh, I did greenery, uh, kitchen herb. I got through two clams of this. And I put this, I think, on my Instagram. It's purple basil, fennel, wild lavender, sage, sage leaf, mint, and chamomile scent notes. This is so good, guys. If you see this in your Walmart or anywhere, kitchen herb. I have one clam left. I want more. Fantastic powerhouse. You could put it in early morning. Next day, you're still smelling it. Loved it. And what I did was the next morning I woke up, I just didn't want to smell it anymore. So I shut the warmers. I had these in. And then I put them in the freezer and popped them out and put them in my crock. And then it went in the crock for like another two days. Powerhouse. Love, Traverse City. And I put, this is just the best. I did this in the family room. Open space for two days. Cucumber and aloe. Cool cucumber, green aloe, and fresh citrus. 
So this is Traverse City. I have another whole brittle of this and I will absolutely ask her to make more, to pour more in the future. Um, I'm just trying to not order right now, but cucumber and aloe and I have another whole brittle. I'm gonna save it for like a nice hot summer day. On the eighth, a red hot cinnamon or something that's red. So I did finish two bars. It was like bars of uh, vintage chic wind shells, raspberry jam filled powder donuts. I do have more, but these were the older ones because I before she went out of business, I got more. This is from November 9th, 21. Love, love, love this set. I've bought it multiple times, so I love this wind shells. Today, Valentine's Day is Melt Something Romantic. I did a whole loaf throughout all my open concept of Destination Wax Wedding Cake. It is vanilla cake with thick white frosting with a thin layer of strawberry jam and it's not buttery. This was poured January of 22. So that's Destination Wax Wedding Cake. I have cake blends that I love a little more. This is more on the light side to me. Um, so I, this is not a repurchase, but I'm happy I got it. And it's not bad. It's just not, it's light to me. Okay, done with melting challenge stuff. So now I'm just going to go through things that I've melted. Um, that smell good shop. I got a sample of Central Park, Central Perk. Fresh coffee, pistachio, and cake drops. So that was a nice size sample. And I put this one morning in my kitchen. I was melting other coffees and I put this one in my hot plate. Very, very good. Very good. Made to melt. Autumn in Vermont. This was part of her um, 12 days Halloween advent. It's amp a lot of things in there. A lot of oils in here. Amber, tonka beans, sugar, cinnamon, honey, butter, Apple, pear, white chocolate. So worked on this a little bit and then I finished this off. I'm trying to get done with the that 12 day out, um, advent. I do it like at nighttime in my room. Then this I've been working on, bathing garden, take me to the sea. And I've been, I like it in the bathroom. It's not a, uh, it's not a wax I would do throughout my house. I like it in the bathroom. It's lemon, grapefruit, sea salt, windy, Sea air, that's what I wrote. You know, she don't have notes, so I don't even know how I got those notes. Take me to the sea. I think I have another clam of this. And um, it's really good in my bathroom. I like it. Then it was my friend's birthday a week ago Monday. So we had a little pizza party here. So by the time everybody was coming at like 5, whatever that Monday, whatever I had warming, I changed it out in the dining room and kitchen so it could be fresh where everybody was hanging out. And they came and they were telling me they could smell my house from the driveway. So I guess it was really good. Um, it was um, that smell good shop. The drawing of the three. So there's six cubes in each one. So I used 12 cubes in the dining room and kitchen. It's Paula warm vanilla sugar and baked cookie. And it was a hit. Everybody loved it. I have to let Semper out. He's crying. Freezing. Let's go. Sorry, guys. He started to cry. He really wants me to take him for a walk, but it's so cold out. I'm going to walk him now. Um, Black Magic Melts, Mall Pretzel. I think my friend Krista from K Marie Melts sent me one of these, and I melted it and loved it. And, um, she let me know when they were offering it again. And then I grabbed, I still have like four of these left. They're like brittles. So good. Black Magic Melts, Mole Pretzel. Love it. Destination Wax, Chamomile Tea. It's Chamomile Tea, sweet and fresh, a lovely spa scent. I did this in my kitchen. Loved it. Not a powerhouse, but it's a good medium. And it was I don't think I would want this as a powerhouse. I really enjoyed it. This was poured January 9th, 23. Really good one. I would get more of that. This is a, uh, a custom that I did with Carla at Kay's, but um, 
Um, it's a dupe I did of Ravencliff from The Pharmacist's Daughter, and Carla duped it for me because she wasn't offering it for a while, and I really wanted more. It's blue sugar, wood, wood sage, and sea salt, and zucchini bread, and Carla duped it. You would know, If I was have this warming in one room and uh, Ravencliff in another, I wouldn't even be able to tell which is which. So if you ever have anything that you love and... Um, you know, the set notes, just go to Carla because she, she dupes so many things for us and she does it beautiful. Like apple, Scentsy's apple butter frosting. Um, so, and then sassy girl aroma, Diane had requested this. So she really loved it. So I'm like, well, let me grab it because it was being poured and I wanted to try it. Palo Santo Topaz, clean, powdery, fruity, and floral notes are anchored with Deep woodsy notes of sacred Palo Santo. Um, not a favorite. It was good, but not one that I would get more of. I finished up two Bitty Bettys because they were from 2020. L3, Blackberry Jam, Butter Cookies, Toasted Malo, Cookie Therapy. I have to tell you, they were from 2020. I got two of them. Powerhouses. Powerhouses loved um teddy bees strawberry vanilla birch so this was a loaf i melted some it was light so i put it away melted a little bit more still was light now i had this nice sized chunk sitting around for quite a while because i want to smell my wax and i just it wasn't that great to me so i took the chunk i had left and i put it in my crock it was much better in my crock. Teddy Bees works great in a crock, FYI. Um, it was much better in the crock, but not one I would get more of. Now we're going to talk about Teddy Bees that did work for me really good. I love this one. It's Teddy Bees Warm and Toasty. Toasted pumpkins, a dash of spiced... Oh, I should have brought my... I don't want to get up again on you. Spice of warm embers, maybe it says. Toasted marshmallow and a hint of mahogany vanilla. This was poured October of 22, so a year and a half old. I did this. It was a loaf. I did. A, this is another one. Half a loaf. Didn't get much. Put it away. Pulled it out when it was snowing the other day. Finished it. Love. Absolutely would get more. But I don't think I'd get a loaf. I would get a tub of this. Loved it. I'm going to put this in my reorder so I know when I do. I did not participate. Now he wants to come back in and it's freezing out, so I'm not leaving him out there. Come on. What he's doing is he's being a scutch because he want, really wants me to take him. Watch. Watch when I say the word. He really wants me to take him for a walk. Right? Is that what you're trying to do? You're trying to get mommy to take you for a walk? That's what he's doing. He's trying to get me to stop doing anything else but get him outside. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, the next one that I did, and I did this whole loaf in the open concept. It was delicious for six hours, I wrote. Which is a lot of times with Teddy Bees. If I do get throw, it mostly, if I get six hours, I'm happy. But I love it so much, I don't care. And this is her cinnamon pretzel cookie cake. This is soft pretzels covered in cinnamon and sugar with cookie, with sugar cookies and bakery dough. I might not have read that perfectly, but that's pretty much what it is. Really, really good. I might have a tub of that too. Now we're going to go to Rose Girls. How many am I in? 20 minutes. Rose Girls. And I wrote more OMG. I have more rain because I have a few bags of her rain. I think the last time she offered rain, I got eight bags. So I have more of her rain. I did a cube to a cube. Oh my God. This was so good. Rose Girls Rain. Cube, one cube, and her Spruce Willis. I did a cube and a cube. Look how old these bags are. These are definitely over two years old, okay? This was so good. 
Next, Rose Girls, Santa's Speechless, Spruce, Satsuma, Coastal Kale, and Raindrops. Loved. Absolutely loved. Need more of this. Opposite of Keto. This is from 2021, and it is a bakery. And every time I watch a video where I hear anyone saying about you, they're trying to warm through Rose Girls Bakery, I do not relate to that because I don't have that problem. This is, look how, look at this bag. So this is like two and a half years old. And this is opposite of keto, sugar cookie dough, monster cookie, royal sugar cookie, waffle cone, pretzel, and cream cheese frosting. Not, not saying that they're not getting their bakery. I try to figure out why don't I not have that problem with Rose Girls? I warm her stuff two, three years old, and I don't have that problem with her anything, bakery or anything. I started to think about it. I do double bag. I My house is so cold. Like, I don't even have the heat on right now, and my house is about 58 degrees, and I'm wearing shorts. I love, every, I love it being cold. That's why in the summer, my electric bill is so high because I blast the AC. I can't be hot. So I think it's a matter of I leave my house so cold and I double bag and they're all in drawers in dark rooms. So maybe that's why I don't have that problem. That's all I could come up with is how you're storing it. Or is, I don't know, I just have luck. That's all. Okay, now we're going to go through some lavender and speckles. And I'm going to tell you everything here I loved. Smoked blackberries. This went for three days in my room, three days. It is sweet blackberries blended with marshmallow, fireside, and Palo Santo. This was so, so good. Smoked blackberries. Salted pretzel Palo fireside milkshake. She just did a pre-order on Saturday and I was not going to order from it, but she poured a request of mine that I requested in January before she did her last pre-order. And Beth is so kind. It wasn't on the list. She didn't end up having it on the list, but she PM'd me. And she said, if you want it, if I'll, I'll, first she said, I will put it in the February pre-order, but if you want it, I'll pour it for you now. No, Beth, I have so much wax. Honestly, I could wait till February. She put it on her list. It was last minute I decided I have to order because she poured what I asked her to pour and I couldn't not order. At the same time, Alexis and I were texting and Alexis was talking, I believe this is the one, Salted Pretzel Palo Fireside Milkshake. Um, and she wrote, and on here it says, that's a lot and so good. Bits of salty pretzel, touch of caramel vanilla ice cream, marshmallow fireside with some woodsy Palo Santo. I warmed this one and I got more. So I ordered this. The one I asked her to pour was strawberry cupcakes at Tiffany's and pretzels because I got it in her pretzel sampler back in the fall and I loved it so much. So I got that and then I ordered, I threw this on too because I didn't want to just order my strawberry. I put a few things on, I kept it very small and I got more of that also. Smoked cashmere. I wrote, this was so good all day. I did it in the game room. It is cocoa butter, cashmere, Palo Santo, and salty sea air. I wrote on this one, Tiffany's, it's Tiffany's Palo Santo and Coffee House. I wrote, yum, this was a banger all day. And it is cupcakes at Tiffany's, Palo Santo, and the best coffee scent ever. I'm loving her coffee, her cupcakes at Tiffany's. Yes, this was so, so good. Those are my empties. I very rarely do half empties, but I had to tell you guys about a few that I did in the past two weeks that I absolutely loved so much. From Salt Mountain Melts. I think this was on her last pre-order uh, Saturday. I did not order. It was so hard for me to not order. But... Um, I have a lot of salt mountain melts I need to get through and everything that was on that list I know will eventually come back and I have to work through it. 
So I did not order, I didn't do Teddy Bee's pre-order. I didn't do Salt Mountain's pre-order. I only did some lavender and speckles and I'm saving myself for this Saturday, the 17th, suck it in spruce. But this is State Fair. Caramel Mac Apple and Funnel Cake and Cotton Candy. This was poured July of 23. If you were lucky enough and you order this and you've never had it, you are in for a treat. Only thing I'm going to say, my experience with Salt Mountain Melts, let it sit. The longer it sits, the better it gets. State Fair, absolute repurchase, loved it. Second and Spruce, Salted Caramel Pretzel Latte. I did this yesterday in my kitchen and dining room. Espresso, Salted Caramel, and Pretzel. Okay, I will take that, both of these, in truckloads. If, the, if they did, I will take a full loaf in either one of these several loaves. Another one, one more, and we're done. The Pharmacist's Daughter Winter Beach House. Blue Sugar, Driftwood, Sea Air, Lemon Zest, Sand Dunes. Let me take it out of the class. I have a double bag still. Guys, this was a favorite of mine. She has a few blends, Ansley, that Ansley and Kim, that they do. That's winter. One is Winter Beach Linen, I think it's called. There's a few winter beach ones that they do. I love. This is a two days, and the house smells so, so good. Absolutely love it. So those were my, like, three. Ugh. I had to share with you guys because if I always think if they off, if I can love something, I'm halfway done, I just put it away. But if I really, really love it, where even if I'm not ordering and I see it, I'm going to order it. Except, like I said, the the State Fair Salt Mountain, only because I have so much Salt Mountain right now that I have to work through. But right now I'm waiting for pharmacist order to offer coconut crack. If you see her coconut crack, even she does strawberry coconut crack or coconut crack, I'm telling you, I will know. If you get it and don't like it, I'll buy it. I'll Venmo you. I'll buy it from you. Same thing with Winter Beach House. If you got it and you came to me and you're like, hey, that Winter Beach House, I'm not crazy. Because I could love a scent and it might not be a scent for you. There's plenty of times somebody loves a scent and it could be a powerhouse and I agree, but it's just not a scent that I love. If ever I say that to you, I will buy it if you get it and don't like it. Just know that. And um, that's it, guys. And happy Valentine's Day. I'm going to try to get this up before Valentine's, before midnight tonight. And um, I got it walk semper. But um, thank you so much. Love you guys. Bye.